Hi, my name is Zai, and this is my first official build, the Rocket Jump Ninja 1070 Gaming PC, powered by Corsair and MSI, with a CPU supplied by M-Wave, and a hard drive by Western Digital. This is the benchmarking video, my first, so I'm going to do some general testing about the things I care about. To start, how fast does it boot? It takes 12 seconds to get to the BIOS screen, 8 seconds later it hits the Windows login screen, and 1 second later it's in Windows. Second monitor wakes 3 seconds later, and Corsair software loads 10 seconds later. So it takes 34 seconds to fully load into Windows 10. And that's thanks to the Corsair 480GB Neutron XTI SSD. It's meant to be able to read and write at over 540 meg per second. I ran the test a few times and the results hovered around these numbers. I actually installed Windows 10 on this computer from a fast USB stick, and it took under 8 minutes. And while we're here, these are the results for the 2TB Western Digital Black. That's more than enough for the video quality that I'm working with, so it's a great storage and recording drive for me. The last test on the Corsair SSD is to see how long it takes to load the last level on Doom. Amazingly, my other computer takes about 3 minutes, but on the RJN 1070, it loads in 9 seconds. Now to show what the MSI GeForce GTX 1070 Gaming X 8GB card can do. With everything on max at 1440p, in this scene I get about 110 frames. With those same settings on my old PC, which has a GeForce 960, it gets about 30 frames, and that's at 1080p. So obviously the GeForce 1070 and Corsair 480 Neutron XCI are huge upgrades for me. Here's how some gameplay looks, with some statistics in the right corner. The Intel i7-6700K idles at about 23 degrees Celsius, that's with the Corsair HATI V2 cooler. In game, it seems stable at about 45 degrees, which also means the fans don't need to increase their speed. It should be great for summer and overclocking. The difference between 1440 and 1080p seems to be about 30 frames, so of course I'll be playing in 1080, but it's nice to know I can push it to 1440. I'm also losing a few frames because I am recording gameplay. Now, running Overwatch at Epic Settings, Ultra at 1440, I'm able to get a fairly stable 100 frames per second. This gameplay shows it dropping to 70 and 80 though, but this is most likely from me alt tapping out and also recording. But even when it's dropping to 70, I'm still playing fine. I could probably just do a little better with higher frames. In 1080, it holds up around the full 140 frames that I'd want. So again, this is great for what I'm doing. For the Unigen Heaven benchmark, here's how it looks at 1440. Temperatures seem to stay around 70 in these tests, with an average of 50 frames. And at 1080, the average is 82 frames. So just as in game, it's about 30 frames more. There's also the Zero Frozen technology on the card which is meant to eliminate the fan noise in low load situations. Here's how it sounds under load. And this is what it sounds like when idle. I can't really hear it, it's just a water cooler in the background. Overall, I'm very happy with what I'm seeing from the 1070, and it's great being able to play at high detail for a change, especially while maintaining these kinds of frame rates. System, CPU and graphics card temperatures are all well controlled, and it's rare that they need to overwork. But it's not the quietest system. Here's a listen to each fan. You're going to hear the water cooler in all these recordings. Apparently it's fairly common for water coolers, and I tried to adjust the radiator to do something about the air bubbles, but this is the best I can get it for now. And remember, it's not really this loud, it only seems that way because I'm holding the mic up to it. I can still hear it though. The Corsair ML140 Pro LED, which is a magnetic levitation fan, seems to be the quietest of them all. I can barely hear it from either side, but the default fans aren't too bad either. At some stage, I may replace them all with quieter fans. For now, it's all good. Except the water cooler noise, that's my only complaint. Here's a look at what's inside the system so you know what I'm running. And of course, this is available at M-Wave in Australia. They're an online tech retailer, so if you want one of these, you can order through there. I'll leave the link in the description. For anyone overseas, you can check my website for the Amazon links. The next video will be a full review of my build, but I'm going to make sure I use it a lot before giving my final thoughts. So far, I'm very happy with it. So again, a big thank you to all the companies involved, and a shout out to the Zowie BenQ, for the XL2730 monitor. It's the 27 inch 144Hz gaming monitor 
that I'm using with this build. I'll be doing a separate review for the monitor, but you'll see it along with the build in other places soon. So that's it for now, thanks for watching, subscribe for more reviews and gaming videos, like this one, and I'll catch you in the next.